Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about uh, single store database. So if you don't know what is single store, single store is a relational database uh, management system, RDBMS, uh, that uses structured query language, SQL, and also it supports Python. So it is designed uh, to handle large amounts of data um, and a single store is known, known for its speed, scalability, um, and um, one thing about single store is it started supporting vectors vector storage um, long back in 2017 itself and because of all the hype today with the uh, gen ai applications we see a lot of uh, vector database vector databases popping up but um, just wanted to make a point that single store started supporting vector storage um, all the operations long back in 2017 itself so um, that's a little int introduction about what is single store um, and single store supports all types of data <clears throat> and um, it supports uh, OLAP and OLTP, uh, OLTP workloads and uh, analytics, uh, analytical and uh, transactional workloads. And it also helps you build powerful GenAI applications and single store basically has good, int good integration with all these AI frameworks like popular AI frameworks like Langchain, Llama Index and others. and uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you in this video how what all you can do. Just an overview of how simple uh, single stories to use as a database or a vector database or to build any of your Genia applications. And by the way, we also have single store also has this cool feature known as notebooks, just like your um, what do you call notebooks, the Google Collab notebooks, right? So I'm going to show that to you in a second. Yeah, uh, let me go to the, yeah, once you sign up, single store basically has free share tier and you can sign up and use it for free until you finish off all your credits. And uh, yeah, this is the home. Uh, I have created certain things. That's why you see here. But once you sign up and log in, this is where, uh, this is what you will see. You will have a workspace um um ready for you if you don't have a workspace you can create one just by clicking create a workspace and and after creating a workspace make sure you create a database okay so that's the main thing about database companies right you basically create database to hold your data can be vector data any type of data so under your workspace you create a database and creating a database is kind of very easy it's just create a database give it a name it is attached to my workspace and uh, yeah, I mean, created database. I have created so many databases here, as you can see. Right? So this is about creating a database. Okay. And once you go to, if you go to the left side bar, uh, you can see um, we have created a database now. Now the next step is to ingest data to that, right? Uh, we have uh, a thing called in the data ingest uh, tab, we have a thing called pipeline pipelines uh, since we don't have anything yet we have not loaded any data you will see blank and then um, you can basically load it load the data from here and we have all sorts of integrations you can load your local files into single store you can load your s3 data uh, into single store you can load your uh, azure uh, blob storage data into single store um, uh, Google Cloud Storage, uh, we have Kafka support, MySQL, um, you know, and load your MongoDB data um, into single store using CDC and then Hadoop also and Apache Iceberg. So these are some of the integrations and uh, it's very flexible to load that data from anywhere, um, wherever your data is. So let's see what we can do we can just click on anything here just for the sake of this example uh, explore some examples right here is a real time event monitoring data set from kafka and um, there is a employee data analysis json data set and there is a sales data analysis data set from amazon s3 and you can also explore our data set gallery so just for the sake let's see if i click this what will happen so as you can see, you just go to the notebook type of uh, what happened. Mm, it's notebook server was terminated and expected code execution will not work. So just 
we'll just re uh, reset it so let it reset so as you can see uh, we the, all this code now is uh, in the notebook so um, in in uh, single store we have this cool feature known as notebooks if you go to uh, if you go to data studio uh, and uh, if you go to data studio from the left side there is a develop uh, tab and under that you can create a new notebook so you can create a personal notebook or shared notebook and uh, that's how this this uh, this real time event monitoring data set from kafka has been created and uh, we just can just read this introduction what it does and how you can basically do the real time event monitoring right uh, and all that uh, you can just just like it, it there are some simple steps you can do right create a database if you don't have one yes we don't have this database just click this one you create a database let me show you how let me select my workspace this is my workspace uh, i don't have this uh, event analysis uh, database right so if i click this now uh, it will basically create that database for me okay i'm going to show you how uh, now it is running the code block is running one row affected and then now i think in some time it should be ready let's see if that database has been created event something right event analysis there you go event analysis database has been created let's select that and then create a table under our database event analysis is our database let's create a table under that hit run that's done and then load data into a pipeline right we saw right here in our pipeline there was nothing since we did not upload uh, any data now we are doing it so let's run this execution started executed and then now is execute this right <clears throat> get that then let's run some sample queries done event stop uh, events by top five advertisers let's do that for the top top five with adver advertisers right subway yum brands mcdonald's starbucks dollar general so you can run so simple right just use the notebook feature from uh, integrated notebook feature from single store run your data pipeline add visitors by gender and income amazing there you go uh, gender income count got all that so this is how you can basically create a pipeline uh, now i think uh, the conclusion uh, we have shown how to connect your car connect to Kafka using pipelines and insert data into single store DB. These techniques should enable you to integrate your Kafka topics with single store database. And then you can clean up this. So if you go to now pipelines, you should see this running, okay? Uh, that's as easy as that. And if you go to, I told you, go to develop and this is where you will see your, uh, you can create a, new notebook new sql file import from file so you can basically create new notebook from here and uh, you can also open the kai shell frame here uh, it's a <clears throat> you can basically run mongodb queries uh, using single store kai uh, and then you can there's a visual explain you can just upload your file and uh, do a lot of things jobs dashboards and uh, monitoring and configurations let's let's not go over uh, the in-depth uh, topics but let's uh, i just showed you how you can basically create um, create your account um, create a workspace for yourself create a database under your workspace and then upload this some data and then try to uh, do some query analysis and um, we saw how the pipeline works right if you go again here uh, this is how it shows and um, load data we also also talked about how what all things you can uh, load from we have the full flexibility you can load data from any sources and uh, yeah basically for uh, single store supports fast ingestion and uh, we support uh, terabytes of data uh, ingestion and uh, 
uh, OLTP, OLTP workloads, and uh, you can also build um, your Genie applications. Okay, so I think for today this is enough. Uh, in our next video, I'm going to talk more about what all, what other things you can do with single stroke. Thanks.